depths of my heart, I feel the ache. A love one so strong, not under mistake. Abandoned and alone, in darkness I reside. Yearning for the love that wants to find my side. In the silence of the night, mommy, you will not believe it, mommy. What? Ah! I scored 290 in jam. What? Yes! <laughs> 290! Yes, mommy! Oh my goodness! This is what I Oh, mommy, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you. I don't want to cry. I'm so proud of you, sweet. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 290. I am super proud of you. You know what? Shopping. Really? I'll buy you anything. Just Mommy, shopping. Let me bring my hat back. Oh. Buy anything on me. Mommy, Don't anything. Anything. Just my son. Should I go? <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> I'm so happy for you. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I cannot wait to come and join you on campus. Yeah, me too. You know, I can't wait to show you off to my friends. You know, introducing you as my girlfriend. Really? Yes. Yes, because. They've always made them um, jest of me because I don't have a girlfriend. But I told them I have a girlfriend somewhere and I don't want to double date, but they insisted I have a girlfriend on campus. But I said, I can't wait, I can't wait. Oh, I see. Is that why you wanted me to come to your school? So that you can show me off to your friends? Mm hmm. Yeah, but not only that, child, my university is like the best university in Nigeria. I mean, check the records. May I have pride? No, that's no hype. Check the record. It's there, it's clearly stated there. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Anyway, that's not just all. We attend the same university, you know, we're going to spend more time together. It's going to strengthen our bond, you know. Anyways, I can't wait for you to address me as the undergraduate. You know what, me personally, I don't even care about the whole undergraduate thing. All I want to do is graduate as an engineer. I cannot just wait. That's my own. <laughs> this is something about that term, the undergraduate, that's just kind of like, evoke some sort of esteem and responsibility. I mean, enough about school. How about I see my love tomorrow? What about your uncle? He goes to work every morning. I thought you knew that already. Okay. I'll think about it. Wait, if you want to think about seeing your boyfriend? Come on now, baby. I miss you so much and I want to see you. Seems like you don't miss me. No, of course I do. Then let's see tomorrow now, please. Okay, I'll come. That's my baby. Anyways, I'm a bit tired now. I'm feeling sleepy. I have to go, okay? I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Good night, honey. Sweet dreams. Bye, love. I love you too. Bye. John. Uncle. If you like, don't clean the house, don't wash the dishes. I'm off to work. Uncle, I'll clean the house and I'll wash the dishes. Shut up, I have not finished. Oh, by the way, I don't even know why your school has not called you back. Eh? You have not resumed. You just sit down doing nothing, just eating. Eh? Now, make sure you clean the house, okay? All right, Uncle. Bye. I don't think I'm worried for Africa, eh? Really? Mm hmm oh, Why? Because I just asked before coming. Or you're scared of me or something. Why would I be scared of you? I mean, primarily you don't trust me. 
John, I trust you. I, I trust you more than anybody in this world. So I can take that to the bank, yeah? <laughs> You're not serious. You know, anytime we are together, I just feel like time should just stop because I can't get enough of you, baby. Do you understand? John. What? You know what? I'm going to go upstairs. I want to show you something. Why? Trust me, I want to show you something, please. John, let's just stay here. No, 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 please, now I want to show you something else. You said you trust me, but you're proving it now. Okay. Okay? Alright. Listen, I love to see you smile. I, I love to see you laugh. John, we can't. Why? Because we're too young to do this. Precious, listen, we're not too young to express our love for each other. I mean, what is love without this? John, this is wrong. Babe, listen, there's nothing wrong about us expressing our love to one another. There's nothing wrong about about us making love. Or don't you love me? I do. Then prove it. John, I'm still a virgin. Me too. Alright. I'm still a virgin too, so let's just allow our love to consume us. Okay? to get to university. The kind of young girl will be doing it. <laughs> then we know that Jane has arrived. <laughs> Are you there to do your girl? Are you there to study? Eh? Um, Which one is it? Both. Abba. <laughs> I won't enter the university and not act like mm. a girl. In fact, the kind of catwalk I will be catwalking in. My steps will change. Oh, is say <laughs> catwalker. <laughs> <laughs> My dear. Mm. So John has promised to show me around campus when I get there. Mm. And guess what? We are going to win Best Couple of the Year's award. For the bag, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My sister, I'm really jealous of you guys, for real. Why? Well, don't I, be jaw. Come on. I can't wait to, to find my own Prince Charming when I'm in campus. So. You will, you will. My sister, I hope so, because I heard all the campus guys are heartbreakers. Hmm. I heard that too, though. My sister. You are lucky. You are very lucky get to have someone like John. Just part the fact that he graduated before us. I still love and cherish you. Well, I thought when he gets to university, he change. But if that is the case, <laughs> thank God. Well, I'm lucky indeed, though. Well, indeed. My wife. Oh my girl. <laughs> No more. I've been feeling very tired and drowsy. What's happening? What's wrong? Your temperature is normal. Yes, mom. Precious. Mommy. What is <clears throat> wrong with you? Mom, I don't know. Huh. I, I hope it's not what I'm thinking. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Come here. Let me see your eyes. Let me see your tongue. All the way, let me see your tongue. 
Jesus, you're pregnant. No, mom. That's not possible. It's not possible. When last did you see your period? Oh, I don't remember, but I cannot be pregnant. So what you're saying is that you're still a virgin? Yes, is that what mom. You're saying? I'm still a virgin. You are sure? Because I know what I'm seeing. You are sure? Huh? You are sure? Oh, me, I said I'm sure. Okay. Let's get to the hospital then. At least let the doctor find out what's wrong with you. That's not possible. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Madam, <laughs> congratulations. Your daughter is four weeks gone. Four weeks what? She's pregnant. Pregnant? Precious! You are pregnant! You're, you're what? Uh, madam! Ah! You can see she's pregnant. Oh. God, this girl has killed me. You're pregnant! I'm going to kill you. I will kill you! Wait, you. Madam! Please take it easy. I will kill you! What do you mean it's not possible to say lie? I'm sorry, Mom. I'm really sorry. I wish I could talk back the hands of time. Precious, what did I do to you to deserve this kind of neglect? What did I do? I begged you several times to stay away from boys. I gave you everything. Everything a young girl would want, I gave to you. I made sure I provided everything. Why did you do this? <laughs> Me, I'm really sorry. Because I told you how I got pregnant in the university and how to deal with pregnancy. I thought you would learn from me. I thought you would learn from my mistakes. But no, what you did was just in a hurry to replicate what I did. Look at you. <laughs> no wonder you're such in a hurry. Now you've gotten pregnant even before getting into the university. Why? Why? I'm sorry, Bobby. I'm sorry. You're begging me? No. I'm sorry, too. You're the one who have to deal with the consequences of your actions. Please. I carried mine and I gave birth to it. You carry yours and give birth to it. Just tell me who is responsible for this pregnancy very quickly because honestly, huh? you don't want to see the other part of me. Who's responsible? Who got you pregnant? It. You will just open your mouth because I'll strangle you now. Mom, it's John. Speak. Which John? The friend from school. God, how did I miss this? Welcome. Ah. This is what you do every day. Eat and sleep, eh? Since you came back on holiday, you've not done anything. Eh? Your mates are working and schooling. Huh? You can't do anything. Eh? Why don't you go look for a job? I've been trying my best to look for a job since I came back. I've been trying your best. Try harder. Try harder. Eh? Okay, the thing here. Try harder. Get a little thing. Hold on. Hey, love. Hello, John. Hey, come on, baby. I told you to stop calling me by my name. I call me something else. John, there's fire on the mountain. What fire? I'm pregnant. You're what? I said I'm pregnant. How? How? How, how are you pregnant? How do you know you're pregnant? I wasn't feeling fine, so I went to the hospital and it was confirmed. I'm pregnant. We, 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 we just, we, you're pregnant just, just this once? Will you? Well, John, that's the sad reality now, and I'm pregnant. Are you, are you, are you, are you even sure the baby's mine? Of course. Who else would it be for? So, so what, what, what are you going to do? I don't know. John, I warned you. I warned you. I told you that we were too young for this, but you refused. You didn't even do enough. They won't push me away, Seth. Were you not the one that asked me to prove my love to you? Now look at where that has landed us. 
Anyways, my mother is aware of it already. Oh my god, I'm finished. Oh my god. You, you know what? Just, just give me some time to think about it, okay? Better look for something to do quicker. John, get me something to eat. Food is in the kitchen. Oh, okay. When did he start this kind of nonsense? Come in. Ah, come in. Good evening. Yeah, hello. Um, we're here to see John. Oh, uh, really? Yes. I assume you're his father. Yeah, come in. Come in. Uh, John! John! Yes, sir, I'm coming. Some people are here to see you. Um... Well, forget my manners. Uh, why don't you come? I have something to drink. Well, fine. Fine, we just want to see John. Aha! Uh, uh -huh. Come, come. This guy here to see you. You're shocked, right? I mean, so you know why we're here? No, I, I... Do you know why they're here? What? Why would you say you don't know the reason why we're here? Don't you know her? Well, maybe I should tell you the reason why we're here. Is because your son, John, got my daughter pregnant. Why you book her after eighteen? Oh wow! That's not possible. I mean, he thinks a small boy. What? Small I mean, boy. I can't impregnate you. <laughs> a small boy. Yes. Okay, so my daughter is an old lady. You're vouching for him. Do you know what he does with his time? If he can get my daughter pregnant, he's not an innocent boy. He's not a small boy. Oh, <laughs> and this is getting very serious. My friend, did you get this girl pregnant? Good question. Did See? you get this girl pregnant? Okay, now he's suddenly a deaf and dumb. John and Sammy, are you responsible for her pregnancy? He's now a deaf Yeah, what? John? You've turned my house into a brothel that you bring in every girl and knock them out? See, sir, that's not the reason why I'm here. That's not the reason why I am here, sir. This so why are we here? here. I am here because he got my daughter pregnant and he has to do something about it. Well, yeah, something can be done about it, but not the way oh, you're In fact, I, I know what to do. She's moved in. She has moved in. She All can't. I have to do is get... She will move it's in. Because your son, if your son can get my daughter pregnant, then he should be responsible enough to, 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 to take charge. No, but She's going to move in here. I don't care. This is my this house. This is your son. I can't have your she, daughter you, here. She will live here. Oh, by the way, I'm she about will live here. I don't no, care. I, I don't care. No, I don't care. Look at you. Look at you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Should be are satisfied now. You should be satisfied. Look at what you have brought upon yourself. I tried my best. God will be me witness. I tried my best as a mother. I gave you everything. Won't do several times, but look at the life you chose. If you want to disgrace me. You know I'm a single mother. You know I'm a single mother. You know how people will assume that I have done something wrong. You want to make me feel inferior. Precious, I tried my best. I will not accept it. I'm not inferior. I'm a good mother. I did my best. But this life is the life that you chose. You chose to embarrass me. I'm sorry, mommy. Stop telling me sorry. Shut up your mouth. You're not sorry. You did this deliberately. You're not sorry. Look at it now. I'll become a laughing stock among people. Thank you. Well done. You did well. Look at you. Look at you. After all I've done for you, trying to make you into somebody, the only thing you could do for me, the only way you could pay me back is to impregnate a girl. Eh? Look at you. I'm so disappointed. Eh? Horribly disappointed. No, eh? no I'm sorry. Eh, be sorry for yourself. Be sorry for yourself. Imagine 
that I even vouch that you are a virgin. I didn't even know you're so rotten. I'm so disappointed, horribly disappointed. Eh? I'm so angry. Eh? Look at you. Look at you. Stupid girl. <sighs> Let me get the door. I'm coming. <clears throat> Good evening. Can we sit? Can I sit if you want. Mom, I'm sorry about what happened. I, I was really very upset uh, with my nephew, uh, so I misplaced my anger. I'm sorry. Are you okay? We're a good family. Uh, John here is my nephew. His parents died 10 years ago in a car accident. Since then, I've been taking care of him to make him into a man. Uh, I would plead with you, ma'am, if your daughter can keep the baby. I'm also asking you to allow them to stay here f for some time. And then I want to remarry. Uh, so I, I promise to take care of her and the baby. I've heard what you said. It's okay. As long as you keep to your words. Yeah, I cross my heart. I, I, I'll keep to my word. But thank you, Mom. Baby girl, Jane. come here. We made it. We made it. We made what? <laughs> I'm just coming back from Unilag now. And guess what? What? Our names came out. Oh, really? Uh-uh. What's in this one? Why are you not happy? Jane, you know I cannot go to school with my condition. I'm so sorry. Come, baby, come. What have I done to myself? Just look at how I forfeited my admission because of my stupidity. I should have insisted. I should have rejected this temptation. Oh God. <clears throat> See, John, things are not the way they used to be. You've got to get a job now. Then fend for your own immediate family. You're not expecting a baby. You have to take care of the mother and the child. And you also know that I'm going to remarry. I told you that before. Uh, that means I, you know, have to prepare myself to bring in a new person into the family. So, you have to take extra responsibility. So, so, so Uncle, you're saying I should drop out of school? Oh, yes, right. Yes. That means you should drop out of school, get a job, to fend for your woman and your unborn child when he's born. So who happens to my dream of becoming an engineer if I drop out of school? I don't know anything about your becoming an engineer or not. What I'm saying is that you now have an extra responsibility. And you've got to take it up. That means you have to drop out of school get a job so that you can maintain them. You can't just be living in my house. That's the way it is. You are the one that impregnated the girl, so you take responsibility. I can't help you. I can't. I'm not even asking you to think about it. I'm asking you to go and do it.
Sustai. Where's this one? John? John? John! Dear uncle, I've left your house. Don't bother looking for me. I'll be fine. Thanks for everything you've done for me. John, what nonsense is this? What arrant nonsense? What? Yes, yes, come in. Oh, how are you? Precious? I'm, I'm fine, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Sir, please, I've been trying to reach John, and his number is not reachable. I don't know what to do anymore. I've not seen him too. I came back and saw a note from him that he has left and that I shouldn't look for him. What? My dear, I, I don't know how to describe what's, what's happening, but I'll find him. He left? I'll find him, don't worry. So that's how nobody heard from you, John again. Hmm? He just abandoned you in this condition. Maybe his uncle chased him away and lied that he ran away. Are you by any means defending him? No, not at all. Okay. Let me even agree with you that his uncle chased him away from the house. Did he equally stop him from picking up his phone to call you, knowing fully well that he's the one that put you in this family way? No. Did you see your choice of man? Did you see the type you... All the men in the world, this is the one you chose. Did you see? That foolish boy. Let me not remember him one of these days. What is it? Why do you scream like that? Um, that's all. I think it's the baby. I think it's coming. Is it you already? Oh. Stand up, stand up, stand up. It's always like that. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's get to the hospital. But I was thinking it's supposed to be maybe at the end of the week. I don't plan it. Easy, easy, easy. Why are you wasting? Easy, easy. Don't worry. Why? It will be over soon. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Madam, you can't come into the theater. You have to wait here. Oh, uh, it's her first time. I, I thought I, I should warn her. She'll be fine. You have to wait here. I thought I would have been able to come in. Sweetheart, you'll be okay. Push. 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 I can see the baby's head coming. Push. I can see the baby's head coming. <laughs> Push hard! Save delivery in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Save delivery in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of sacred I decree now today, this my grandchild is coming in hell and happy by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, this is a testimony. This is a testimony. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, like Tonja the like an Hebrew woman. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, precious is put into birth. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Oh, let's show the Holy Katosha Tahibaraya. I give you praise, oh God. I worship your majesty. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for my grandchild. He's coming in strong by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lizu Shatali Barata. Lekesha Ara. Nintro Katosh Kere Hisusa Kadaba. Just push. Push one more time. Yes, yes, yes. It's okay. It's okay. Just push one more time. Okay? Yeah. Let's go. Push! Push! Congratulations, Ma. Both mother and child, I say. That's what I asked God. Thank you, no. <laughs> Thank you, God. Okay. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Jesus, for the grandmother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Sweetheart. Huh? At some point, I was worried. The date is not next week they gave to us. Hmm? I don't know why you are rushing. Hmm? But God is faithful. He gave us everything. Thank God, Mommy. Hmm? Everything I asked God, He gave to me. <laughs> hmm? To my grandson. No. Hmm? So, how do we tell John? No. Um, okay, let me, let me call you. Hmm? Let me call you. Oh, so tired. She has given birth. Wonderful, wonderful. Congratulations. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Ah, okay. Okay. I just came back. I'm just a bit tired, but okay. Ah, congrats. Ah, no, 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 problem. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. Don't worry about my tiredness. Ah, I'll be there now. Okay. Ah, wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, yes. Let's go. Let me change. Hey. Well done. Thank you. Ah, 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 <laughs> wow. I know. Ah, ah, ah. No, it looks like us. Yes. Like us. Ah, ah. Congratulations. This is wonderful. Ah, ah. I just brought small. I know. Thank you so much. Hey. Ah, ah, Lucy, well done. <laughs> well, well, well done. You have done well. You have done this wonderful. Ah, ah. Thank you very much, sir. Hey. Ah, well done. Yes. Sir, have you heard from John? I, I have not. I have not. But he's a father now, so he needs to know. I'll let him know. I mean, this boy should bring him back. Ah, <laughs> wonderful boy, bundle of joy. Ah, no, you have done well. Stop. He promised he would be here with me. And now he has abandoned me, Bob. It's okay. This is only what we have here. Mm, this bundle of joy, this is not the time, okay? No, we'll bring him back. We'll bring him back. Ah, ah. Your mom is here, I'm here. Ah. But oh, we're here. Mommy, oh, it hurts. It hurts. I know. It hurts so much. It hurts. He'll be back. I promise you. Oh, my supposed to train a child on my own. I can't raise a child on my own, Mom. 
darkness are aside Yearning for the love that wants to find my side In the silence of the night I search for soulless Memories of your touch I still find time to rest But I wouldn't let the past Define who I am I must find strength to move on And do what I can For the pain Of abandonment It comes so deep It hurts so deep Threatening to take away my happiness well, if you ask me, I think you did the right thing. Oh my bro, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Of course. I mean, you're just 19 and you still have your life ahead of you. See, even me that I'm older than you, I would do the same thing. Guys, it's education first before any other thing. My oh bro, it's, see, it's not easy training myself through school. Sometimes I don't even get time to read my books. Then, maybe I should look for another job for you. Bro, that would be that would be good. That would be very good because I go to work by five. I stay there till midnight. If I get back home, I'm already fucked out, I'm tired. <laughs> Look at you. It's always so in every bar. But I'm not to worry. I'll get you another job. Please, bro. No wala, no wala, no wala, no wala. Bro, there's there's one more thing. What's that? I mean, since I left home, I've not heard from Precious, and. Amo, I've never reached out, nothing. I, I, I don't think you it, think it's fair. Guy, see, like I said earlier, what you did is the right thing. Honestly. Oh, let's do it like this, okay? For now, hmm? don't call her. Yes, avoid her. At least till you graduate next year. Do you want to have an extension? Um, you think so? Think. I know so. Oh, I say, you don't need to feel any guilt. She'll be fine. All you need to do now is concentrate on your education. When you graduate, you get a good job. You can go back and take care of her. To what of the pregnancy? What if she has given birth? Uh, well, if she has given birth, I believe her mom and your uncle would take care of her. I say, she'll be fine. At least they will not want to watch her and the baby suffer. That's true. Guys, see, forget about all these people, okay? Concentrate on yourself for now. At least let me even have the brain to even think about and get you a job. If I say you like this, your night job, what you do? Why you say that now? No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can do this without her. Is that why you left my boot to cry? Huh? I can't do this alone. I can't. Of course you can. Hmm? Remember, I raised you all by myself. If, if I can do it, you can do it. Alright? Forget him. Let's concentrate on the baby. Huh? Don't uh, just look at me. I've lost shape. What kind of thing is this now? How am I going to get my body back now? Precious, why is the baby crying now? Precious, 
Why is this baby crying like this now? I need attention. Precious! Precious! For once, I thought you were not even in this room. Why are you sitting there and the baby's crying? Well, we leave it. Eh? What kind of baby is this? Every time he's always crying, crying, crying. What's the problem? What kind of talk is that? So you cannot take care of your own baby that you gave birth to. You're a disgrace to motherhood. Take care of your child. Mommy, am I not a child too? Eh, am I not a child too? Please, I beg, leave me alone. No. I have nothing to say to you. Just breastfeed this baby. Could you? I already breastfed, breastfed the baby this morning now. Eh, but it's obvious now that he's hungry. Hmm? Please, breastfeed the baby. How's this cup of tea? Me that I'm already complaining how my breast is sagging. I'm come and breastfeed him again. Who cares about your sagging breast? I don't care about your sagging breast. Please, breastfeed this baby. This baby I is hungry. I won't, mommy. What can you, precious? Breast, don't try me. My friend, will you breastfeed this baby? Who's joking with you? Breastfeed the baby. I won't. Have you lost your mind? What kind of drama is this one? Precious, breastfeed this baby now. Mommy, if the baby is hungry, eh? Go to the kitchen and feed the baby. She be there someone there by there. What? Don't disturb me. Did I feed you with her about Oh. What kind of talk is this one? I am not feeding any baby. I've already told you. Precious, come and breastfeed this baby. Have you lost your mind? Mommy, I am not feeding that child. Sit down. Sit down here and breastfeed this baby. I'm not joking with you. Mommy, no. I'm not breastfeeding that child. Ah, ah. Hi, girlfriend. Hi, Jane. How are you doing? <laughs> Hi, baby. I'm fine. He's so cute. <laughs> Thank he you. He looks exactly like his father. Wait, talking about his father, have you heard from him yet? I haven't. All. I can't believe that John will do this to me. It's marvelous me too. You know what? Let's not talk about John. Let's discuss more many good things. My Tell me, dear. how is school? My dear, school is fun. Ah! Last week, we did our precious night last weekend. It was so much fun. Girl, school is sweet. I'm so sorry. No, oh, it's fine. Are you sure? Of course, mm -hmm. but I'm happy for you though. <laughs> Come in. The door is open. Ah, oh, let me see. <laughs> Looking good as always. Oh, I just you're this. so welcome. Thank brought you so much. The mother and the baby. Yes, thank you. Please sit down. Please. Thank you. So how are you? I'm fine. I'm, how are you? How's work? Right. Come to come to they say. Uh, like this, like that. Well, you lost me. You're <laughs> <laughs> <Like, laughs> it. Uh, well done. Thank so, you. how precious are my uh, little nephew? Uh, well, they are fine. They are absolutely fine. Let me. Uh, precious! Precious! Yes, mom. Come on. I'll bring the baby. <laughs> okay, mom. The grand uncle is here. <laughs> so, this is how we did not hear about them. My dear. What's his name? Uh, John. John, your nephew. I have not seen him. Oh, my goodness. These children. She do not know. Something is wrong. Ah, precious. Bring, bring him, bring him, bring him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, so cute, so cute. Oh, 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 oh. So cute. So cute. He's mm. so adorable. So adorable. <laughs> of course, the mother is beautiful, the grandmother is beautiful. I want to be cute, my friend. Thank you so much. Mm. Look at his little lips. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, He's such a good baby. 
Hey, so cute. So cute. Wow. So cute. Wow. Precious, what is going on here? What is this? <laughs> he's cute, right? Thank God he's your grandnephew. Please, when you are leaving, take him along with you because I am sick and tired of taking care of this child. Will you shut up? What's all this nonsense? What kind of a bastard is this? Mom, I am sick and tired of taking care of this child. I want my life back. What life? What kind of rubbish is this? What kind of embarrassment is this? I'm so sorry, please. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, boy. Ah, lovely boy. Lovely boy. <laughs> These children. Ah, don't worry. Have you seen it? What kind of drama is this? Don't worry. Did we get her pregnant? Oh, we didn't, but don't worry. We'll uh, get them to understand how to When they make their stupid decisions, they expect us and they're not ready to take responsibility for it. Anyway. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Let me just run along. Uh, I'll call him. Please just uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All right. All right. Abandon and alone in darkness outside. Yearning for the love that wants to by my side. In the silence of the night, I search for soulmates. Memories of your touch, they still hunt and caress. But I won't let the past define who I am. I must find strength to move on and rebuild what I can. All the pain of abandonment, it comes so deep, it hurts so deep. Threatening to take away my happiness, but my happiness I won't forfeit. I must believe. That love will find me again, find me again. I'll try and pick up the pieces one by one, rebuilding my heart until the pain is gone. I'll find my worth and embrace my own strength. The love will come again and go the extra length. I'll look into the innocent eyes of a child. And see the future full of smiles to give me hope, give me hope, and the strength to carry on and to call. All the pain of abandonment, it comes so deep, it hurts so deep, threatening to take away my happiness, but my happiness. I won't forget. I must believe. I must find. Precious, open the door. Why would you even lock the door? Oh, please, go away. Precious, open this door, Jarrell. Open the door. Mommy, leave me alone. The baby's crying. The baby's hungry. Open this door. You want me to look for something I give to the baby now? What's all this stuff? Precious, I will break this door. Open this door, open it. Open this door. Mommy, leave me alone. Are you supposed to leave me alone with this? Can I not rest? Precious! Sorry, 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 sorry. I must believe. Precious. The baby is crying. Go and attend to him. Precious, I said the baby is crying. Are you deaf? Oh, mommy, can you just allow me to watch this film in peace? My friend, will you go and take care of your baby? Go and attend to the baby. Get out of my sight. Leave this place. Why we're getting pregnant? Do you, do you think raising a child is easy? <sighs> Just watch a movie in peace in this house. Eh? What kind of baby is this? Ah! What is it? Are you a witch or are you just against my happiness? Why can't you just be calm and let me have my peace of mind? Have I not done enough for you? Have I not? Is it until I die because of you? Precious. Why are you speaking to like that? Is it my grandchild you're using such words for? Have you lost your mind?
are you speaking to an innocent child like this? Which child is innocent? <laughs> this child is innocent. This child. This baby that. This baby this. This baby that. This baby that. Mommy, have you stopped for once to consider me? Or asked me how I'm feeling? No. Innocence, my foot. Precious, I didn't say that reason a child would be easy. <laughs> it, it's not easy. It wasn't easy with me too when I was raising you. I'm sure I did not stress you like this. Ah. That one is a certain. Ah. See who's talking. Because you're all grown up now. You gave me hell. Much hell than this baby would ever give to you. But did I throw you away? No. Better take care of your child. Though. Take, if anything happens to this child, you will be sorry. You will be very sorry. See, mommy, me, I'm tired. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of this child. And I'm tired of the two of you together. Oh, and well, that is it. I'm sorry to tell you that you're stuck with us. You are stuck with us, precious. You're not going anywhere. You're stuck with us. Oh, we're here together. Please, we too are tired me. of you. But we're following you. Because my good you. Don't mind your mother. Jane, you are glowing. Thank you, baby. Please, is this how everybody in school is glowing? Oh, my dear, forget that thing. All these things you're seeing eh, is packaging. Many of us in the campus are living fake life. Yes, the slogan is fake it till you make it. So don't judge by what you're seeing on me. Because really? you know me now, I won't carry last. You need to give me gist on what's happening on campus. <laughs> Stress won't kill me. A lot is happening. Ah, come on. Did you just say stress? Like <laughs> you just said stress. Please, I want to be stressing like you. If this is what stress looks like. Precious, you want to understand. It's from one lecture or to another. Not to talk about the assignment or other things. Ah, come on. Me, I'm getting tired already. Ah. Did you just say stress? <laughs> no, you just said stress. Yes, of course. Please, I want to be stressing and be looking like this, oh. Because look at me now. I'm talking about stress. What do you now say about me? Uh, you're not looking bad. You're not. Oh, please, Jane. Stop with the flattering. <sighs> if I could turn back the hands of time, I would have avoided John with everything in me. Talking about secondary school, Vanessa is celebrating her birthday this Friday in Soul Light Lounge. So there will be a lot of fun, entertainment. You know the vibe. You wouldn't want to miss. It's unfortunate because I won't be coming. I understand. About your baby, right? Yeah. I really need to ease up and unwind because of all the stress that I've accumulated over time. Don't what worry. What are you going to do now? I'll think about it. Because I won't see you for day. <laughs> you understand now. I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> In the depths of my heart, I feel the ache. A loved one so strong, not on the mistake. Abandoned and alone, in darkness I reside. Yearning for the love that wants to by my side. In the silence of the night, I search for solace. Memories of your touch, the still hunt and caress. But I won't let the past define who I am. I must find strength to move on and rebuild what I can. All the pain of abandonment, it cuts so deep, it hurts so deep. Threatening to take away my happiness, but my happiness I won't forfeit. I must Try and pick up the pieces one by one Rebuilding my heart until the pain is gone I find my worth and embrace my own strength For love will come again and go the extra length I'll look into the innocent eyes of a child And see the future full of smiles To give me hope Precious! 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 What is she doing? 
Sua no? Jane, listen, listen. I, I, I miss her a lot. Sh shut up. Jane, you miss who? Jane. Someone you abandoned since. Oh, please, don't get me triggered now. Jane, Excuse Jane, me. Jane, Jane. Happy Oh, baby. Jane, you are. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. No, you're not. I mean, John is around and he abandoned me and his child. Baby, he said he missed you. I don't want to see him. Talk more about speaking to him. It's okay. Hey, precious. This I know I don't deserve your forgiveness, but just hear me out all this, please. Then, let's go. No. Precious. Hear him first. Hear what he has to say. Are you speaking for him now? No, I'm not. It's the logical thing to do. Just hear the rubbish she has to say. Excuse me. Precious, I know I messed up, okay? I know I messed up by, by running away. I was scared for my education. John, what about me? Listen. I had to forfeit my, my admission. You have no idea what I went through. I, I, I can't say I know, but I'm so sorry, Precious. I know running away was not my, my best option. I felt like my uncle and your mother was going to take care of you. I knew it was selfish on my part, but I didn't have a choice. I did what I had to do. Keep saying you're sorry. Is sorry supposed to make everything right? Is sorry supposed to make me feel better? Is, is it supposed to help this pain I'm feeling right now? Precious, listen, I know it's not. I know it's not, but... From the depth of my heart, I'm saying sorry, precious. I'm terribly sorry. Please, just, just, just give me one more chance, okay? Listen, it's just one more chance I asked for, precious. Please, one more chance. Huh? So you're in school now? I mean, yes, I'm in school, but I have to work somewhere to like keep up with school activities and all that. It's not easy, but... Well, good for you. So, so how, 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 how is the baby? How is the baby? Are you asking me how the baby is? John, you abandoned us. Baby is fine. Is it he? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know how to put this again, first of all. I'm sorry, okay? Allow me to wipe the tears off your face. Precious, listen, you still look beautiful as I last remembered. John, how can you say I look beautiful? I'm all out of shape. Out of shape? Come on now, you... No. You're not. You're not out of shape, Precious. You, you see how I last remember you to be like... That child is stressing me out. Sometimes I just wish you should disappear. Okay, I talk. want my life back, John. Come on, Precious, don't talk like that, okay? Please, do, 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 don't sound like that. Okay? <laughs> Look who is talking. You that abandoned us. Precious, I had a reason. Okay, there, there was a reason. I didn't just do it. I had a reason. 
What reason? Run away, daddy. Shame, shame, shame on you. Good afternoon. Come here. Where are you coming from looking like this? No, I went to see my friend Jean. She's very sick. Really? Yes, Mom. You left your baby to go and see your friend? Mom, he was sleeping when I left and I didn't want to disturb him. And besides, I already fed him and I know that he's not going to wake up until I get back. Precious, you are the most wicked and unreasonable young lady I've met in my life. You left your baby for three hours and the baby was crying. You claim you want to see a friend. Mom, can't somebody go out and, and just ease? Have some peace of mind. Oh, you want peace of mind? You know, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's because you have a mother in this house. I don't blame you one bit. But I have nothing to say to you because after all, the baby is yours. When you will see my true anger is when anything happens to that baby because of this your stupidity. I've had enough of your rubbish. I've had enough. Rubbish. Today I've got to just go out. Yeah. Oh, Fana, welcome. Why the street face? What happened? Come on, it's about pressures. Guy, I've told you not to worry about her. She will be fine. I believe her mom is taking care of her and the baby. I saw her yesterday. Where? Yeah. The party I attended. Really? I mean, she was so angry. She was so mad at me for abandoning her and the baby. But I should have known you had a choice. Bro, I had a choice. I had a choice. I shouldn't have abandoned her and the baby the way I did. My guy, I've told you before. You did the right thing. Do you want to drop out of school now? Of course not. You see? She said, she said something very striking to me. She said she doesn't want to be a mother either. She said that? Yes, she said that she wishes the baby just disappears so that she can go back to her normal life. Wait a minute. She doesn't want the baby. And you? Do you want the baby? I don't think so. Just the baby right now is more or less a distraction to me. Good. Then I think I can help you guys. How, how do you mean? Just follow me. To where? To where your problems will be solved. Guy, get up! I might follow you to where my problems will Follow me. Let's go. What I'm telling you now, I'll just be sitting here mopping. Do not me, I should. Let's go. <laughs> so, how old is the baby? Huh? said, how old is the baby? Um, he's eight to ten months. Girl, yeah, why are you confused? Which one is eight to ten months? Be specific, Joe. He's eight, eight months. How much are you selling? How, how much? No. I, no. I do want to sell my baby. I just want to give him out for adoption. Listen, we're saying the same thing, okay? All we're doing is we sell babies to rich families who can afford to give them the future that they deserve, okay? Because it's obvious to me that you don't have what it takes to take on the responsibility of fatherhood. So we sell them to rich families that can take care of them. Isn't that what you want? Boss, boss, like, how much are you willing to buy the baby? 
350. I know now. Okay, see. Let's make it 500k. Since it's a boy, I'll pay 400k. No, it's 500k or no deal. Alright, 500k it is then. You deliver, I send to you. When are you bringing the baby? Um, say next tomorrow. Next tomorrow it is then. Use the door. Do not. Do not. Don't tell me. I don't know what's wrong with you. What's wrong with you? Did I tell you I want to sell my baby? Did I tell you that? Okay, what is wrong with you? I'm here trying to help you solve a life problem. It's not going to be thanking me. I'm here ranting. You should have told me first, Donald. You should have told me first. You're taking me to that notice, please. But I asked you. I asked you. I asked you. You said you don't want the baby. You even said Precious wish the baby can just disappear so she can have her life back. Can I think about this? See, if the baby is out of the way, you and Precious can have your life back. See, you can go back to being your Rumi and Juliet, just the way you were before the baby. It's a very simple thing. See, you can even use some of the money to take her out, get her nice things. You get what I mean? And besides, the baby will be sold to a wealthy family. And she'll be worth taking care of her, she'll have value. Think about this, man. See, it's a way for everybody. Who Think about it. I mean, you know, you're not completely wrong, you know. I'm always right. Yes. So now, how can we get the baby? The baby. I think I have a plan. Now you're talking. You sent for me? Yes, I did. Precious, tell me, why are you so cruel to your own child? No, ma'am, not. Yes, you are. You starve him. You pay less attention to him. In fact, you have abandoned him to go and be with your friends. No, I didn't bargain for this. That's what has come to my life and ruined everything. The baby is innocent. He's not the cause of your problem. He is. Without him in my life, I will be in school with my mates. He's ruined my life, mom. And who told you your life is ruined? So you want to pour your frustrations on an innocent child? Do you remember I told you that I had you when I was in university? I dropped out because of you. Everybody abandoned me. My friends mocked me. My family turned their back. Even your father turned his back on me. I had no one. But did I throw you away? No. Even when I had the chance to. When I looked at you, I said, no. Let me pull through this with this child. I could have left you. I could have thrown you away or, or harmed you. If I had sold you out or, or, or harmed you, would you be here today? No, mom. Then why are you so mean to an innocent child? Why? I'm so frustrated. My friends are in school, studying, and I'm here nursing that child. And who told you you can't go back to school? You think your life is over? Look at me. The same thing happened to me. I was able to pick up the pieces of my life. And I'm even here for you. My parents weren't even there for me. You don't have to be frustrated. You're just an innocent, beautiful baby. You can nurse the child, take, take jam and go back to school, sweetheart. This is your flesh and blood. Don't do this. Sorry, Mom. It's okay. Come. Come here. I understand how you feel, okay? But this is a very sweet, innocent baby. I'm just feeling overwhelmed. I know, but I'm here, okay? Don't worry. We'll do this together, right? Okay, Mom.
Look how sweet and innocent you look. My poor child. I'm so sorry for how I've been treating you. I'm sorry for everything I've said to you. You don't deserve the way I've been treating you, my sweet child. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. My world was going to crumble. I was at the verge of gaining admission into university before you came into my life. I had to forfeit that admission because of you. And I became so scared and confused. Especially when your father left us even at birth. He abandoned us, and I didn't know what to do. And I blamed you. I blamed you, my innocent child. I should have known that you were a gift from God. And from today, I promise you that I would always protect you. I would love and cherish you with all my heart. As a good mother should. I love you, my son. I love you so much. How are you? I'm fine. How is the baby? He's fine. He's right here. Prince, you want to say hi to your daddy? Hi, Prince. Say hi to your daddy. <laughs> He's laughing at you. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. I, I want to take you guys out today. Just for us to have a little fun then, you know, take the time to see our baby. Really? But well, why don't you come to the house? No, not yet. I can't stand your mom now. But let me use the opportunity and see the baby. Then I'll come and see her. Okay? Okay, that's fine. Um, so I'll meet you at um, City Mall in 30 minutes. All right? Okay, okay. Let me go and get dressed. So, what happened? They bought it. Good. Excellent. Bro, I'm still having mixed feelings about this thing. Or... Guy, calm down now. You behave like baby. You are a man. Behave like a man. Let me call Oscar so that he'll meet us at the mall. Hello, Ross. Uh, I do, I do, bro. Bye bye, yes. Newsday. Eh? My friend is taking his baby and the baby mama to the mall. Yes. Yes. Okay, so the plan is that he's going to distract her from the baby. So once he does that, you people will steal the baby. Of course. <laughs> it's a good plan. Yes. Eh? They should be there in, in 30 minutes. Oh, okay, okay, bros. Hey, okay, bros. <laughs> what's up? What's up? <laughs> what's the idea? Bro, I'm still having mixed feelings about 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 all this. Why are you always behaving like this? You only behave like woman. Guys, my baby, we are talking about here, and I'm really scared something might happen to him. <laughs> Wait. The same baby that I rejected. Oh, are you ready to become a father? In the 
depths of my heart I feel the ache A love once so strong Now turned a mistake Abandoned and alone In darkness I reside Yearning for the love That wants to by my side In the silence of the night Thank you for taking us out today Come on precious you know, I miss you so much Truly and believe me you know, I was having a conversation with my mom yeah, yesterday. She made me realize that this child is a gift from God. I mean, it was stupid of me to try to pour all my frustration and anger on an innocent child. That did nothing to me. After that conversation, I realized that this child is a bundle of joy. And that I should love and cherish this child like no other. I mean, I don't know what I would do. If anything should happen to this child, I don't think I'll be able to survive it. So, so you mean you want to keep him? You don't want to give him up for adoption anymore? What? Why would I want to give up my child for adoption? I've never had that conversation with you. Um, Precious, we need to go. Why? I have nothing doing at home now. Precious, have time. listen, I'll, I'll explain to you later, but we need, we need, to, we need to leave now. John, why? Precious, come. We need, we need to leave now. Keep your eyes open. Come, come. Take your back. Come. In the depths of my heart, I feel the ache. A love once so strong, now turned a mistake. Abandoned and alone, in darkness I reside. Yearning for the love that wants to by my side. In the silence of the night, I search for solace. Memories of your touch, they still haunt and caress. But I really like the past. John, what is it? Nothing. Not Are you okay? Yes, everything is fine. Are you sure? Yes, everything is fine. John, I'll move, I'll move. John, what is it? Take care of the baby, okay? Do not let him out of your sight. Alright? Are you okay? You've been acting weird. Everything is fine, okay? Just take care of the baby. I don't believe. I don't believe that that small rat people play us like this. You pay me, oh! You pay me, I swear. Shock me. I don't believe that boy should do us like that. Oscar. Hello, boss. Where your friend is? He ought to be at the mall with you guys. Your, your friend play us. I don't understand. Your friend looks to be your own part of the deal. What? I will say this for the very last time. Hmm? He needs to keep his own part of the deal. He's playing with fire and he doesn't want to know what to come for him. He has 48 hours to deliver that baby. But boss, it hasn't got into that. 48 hours. Hello? Hello? 
Hello? What is wrong with this boy? John, where have you been? What's the meaning of the stone you pulled out there? Oscar is very angry with you. You and the Oscar can go to hell, bro. Can go to hell. Look at the money. It's intact. Let's go and return it. Are you joking right now? I changed my mind. Are you seriously joking right now? Do I look like I'm joking to you? Do I? But you can't back up now. You can't. You already have the money with you. Point of correction. You took their money. I thank God it's intact. Let's go and return it now. Wait. Why the sudden change of mind? What happened? Listen, I thought Precious was cool with it. But apparently she loves her baby. And she doesn't want the baby gone. And I buy the idea. I prefer us to raise our son rather than send him off to your whatever you're talking about. Now, I don't know. You must be joking, right? Like, how do you expect to take responsibility of a baby? That's my problem, bro. Let me worry about that. Okay? Let me worry about it. Guy, you can't back out now. You can't. We already had a deal with these guys. These guys are dangerous, guys. They are dangerous. Like I said, bro. The money is intact. Let us go and return it peacefully, please. Right, since you're not gonna get what I'm saying. You are not getting what I'm saying. Oscar is not meant to be told with. He will deal with you. I'm not joking. Bro, I changed my mind and that is period. Pick up the money, let's go and return it. Um, Mama, I just give us 48 hours. We'll deliver the package. I, I, I promise, I, I won't fail. Thank you, ma. Yes, ma. So what did she say? Of course she's mad at us now. Why would she be angry? See, if I catch that stupid boy here. Who is that? So tell me, what is good about the day after your friend played us? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. That's why we are here. They came to return the money for us. They did this cancel. Trust me, I really wanted to give you guys the baby for me. Discovered that the mother wants, wants her baby, so... You they mad? You mean like this boy don't they smoke it, bro? You don't tell him? I, I told him, but he wouldn't listen. See, yeah. At this point, I don't really care what, what the deal is because I'm not interested in anything anymore. You make a worse you! You're not interested anymore. I give you 48 hours to deliver the package. And devil bless you, you don't. Whatever you see, you take. Get out. Before I close my eye open up. You didn't look me. Can you imagine this rubbish? I mean, they ain't so less. See this stupid boy, yo. You will not want to wait before this Lagos. Relax now. Relax. Do not, what is wrong with you? No, no, why would you bring me here in the first place, eh? I was only trying to help. Did I ask you for your help? See, let's stop all these arguments. Please, what do we do next? Do not, I don't know. I don't know what we are going to do, but what I know is that I am not selling my baby anymore. Not now that the mother wants the baby. I can't even do that to Precious. She calls that baby her bundle of joy. Do you even know what that means? Like, you see, at this point, right? At this point, we don't have a choice. Oscar is very deadly. He is. And besides, what do we do? Listen, Donald. It seems you're not even listening to what I'm saying. I am not selling my baby anymore. Never. It was bad enough I wouldn't listen to your terrible advice to come to this place in the first place. I'm not selling my baby. Donald, I'm not. You really don't understand what is happening right now. You, like, you really don't understand the situation. At this point, there's nothing we can do again. See, 
We can't even report the case to the police. Because the arrest was his accomplice. Oscar is very deadly. He is. See, let's just give them the baby. Besides, your life is at risk here. And not just only your life. That includes Precious and the baby. Think about this. Precious, I have something to tell you. What is it? Well, first of all, you have to promise me that you will not scream and you'll forgive me afterwards. You're scaring me, John. What is it? I think, I think we're in danger. What do you mean by we're in danger? What have you done? I tried to give our son out for adoption. What? You said you were not going to scream now, Precious. You tried to sell our son? What is wrong with you? I mean, why would you do something like that? Precious, you said you wanted your life back. I thought the best way to do it was to give him up for adoption. But along the line, I developed some fatherly affection for him. I could not do it. I, I could not do it. So I told him that I'm not going to do it. So instead, they threatened our lives. John, just give them back the money. I think I've not tried that. I tried. They, did, they rejected it. You better don't let anything happen to my child. Do you understand me? Precious, listen, nothing is going to happen to our child. We just have to be careful, like very, very careful What's now. What's wrong with you? What is going on? Um, we, 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 uh, Where we, did you come out from? We, 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 we're just having a conversation, ma. A conversation? Yes. yes I was listening to the conversation. So both of you better start talking. Speak. Ma. Stop talking. Please, I'm very sorry. I, 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 I wanted to give our son out for adoption. So you actually wanted to sell my grandson? No, my, it's really not like it's not like that. I, I thought these people were good people. They promised that they were going to take care of him, but <laughs> they're very bad people, ma. They were bad people. In that case, let's go and report them to the police. Ma, police, ma, they're going to arrest me as an accomplice. I don't want to go to jail now. No, you don't have to worry about that. Why would they? If everything you told me right now is true, then you're innocent. You're actually a victim. Or did you take their money from them? No, no, I, I didn't take their money. Then let's get there. Let's go and tell them. Let's go and tell the police. Are you, are you, are you sure about this? Yes, I am sure. Go and get my handbag and, and, and my keys for me. Okay, mom. Take care of Prince. You sit down. Get up and sit down. That's the first thing you should have done. Report them to the police. What kind of children are you? Do you know how many people this, this, this woman must have ruined their lives? Okay. Um, we'll first of all start by preparing a case file for them, for him, and then um, we'll see how we can apprehend him. Okay. Do you have their numbers? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. Please, you call them. Be calm about it. Act as if you're still game with them. Okay. And we'll proceed from there. I should call them now. Yes, go ahead. Do you have the baby now? Yes, yes, I have the baby. Where can I meet him? Where are you and where is the mother? Um, I'm parked at it by a taxi at a cafe street. The mother is still asleep. I sneaked in and got the baby. And and you're sure no no one saw you? Absolutely not. The house was empty. Um, <coughs> um you can. You can, you can come with the baby to the house where we are here. Okay, I'll meet you shortly. So, this is what we are going to do. Kai. 
<laughs> Are you serious, bro? Go! Go! <laughs> bro! Shit, my man. <laughs> Boom! Oh, I like your spirit. You're a strong man. Hmm? Send him his money. Uh, no, no, no. I don't want any money. I, I just want my son to find a good place. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> don't yeah, worry. I promise. You have my word on this. I will take your son to the best place possible. You have my word on that. All right? Just <laughs> hand him over to me. Come on. Come on. What? A doll? What is this? Please! Don't move! Stay where you are. You all are under arrest. You have a right to remain silent. Whatever you do or say will be used against you in the court of law. Now, move it. Just set me up. I told you, my son was not for sale. Now you. move it! Stop moving! Move it! Or can take a easy. Like he has slept finally. Yes, he has, mommy. <laughs> Mom, I can't believe that I love him so much. Like I was so scared that something bad would happen to him. Mom, I was not myself. Like I couldn't even think straight anymore. Welcome to motherhood. Mom, is this what being a mom feels like? Yes. <sighs> you know, I tell people, a mother is willing to give her life. I feel. This love is real. I'm feeling so overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> and by the grace of God, you would write your jam and come to the university. Hmm? Yes, Mom. Thank you. I thought I heard a knock. Come in! I'm so sorry, Ma. I'm so sorry. I. I was scared of dropping out of school. I couldn't man up to my own responsibilities. I'm so sorry. My uncle told me to brace up. He told me that he was going to take care of Precious and, and the baby. But after the long run, he told me to drop out of school. He told me I should take up a job so that I can take care of Precious and the baby. When I heard it, I, I couldn't take it. I ran away. So I severed all contact I had with Precious. I stopped contacting her because if I kept on contacting her, my uncle would have found out my whereabouts. So after I saw her during the night, old memories kept flooding back. I realized how much I've missed her and how we spent all our time together. But then I approached her to forgive me. She said she wanted her life back. I told her what to do. I told her what to do. I told my friend about it. He suggested that I give up the baby for adoption. Honestly, my I thought I was giving him to good people. I did not know these guys are terrible people. I did not know they were bad people. At that point, I discovered that there's no love greater than a parent love for his or her child. Ma, I'm so sorry. I'm truly sorry. Precious, I'm sorry. I truly am. It's okay. Get up, sit down. Thank you, Ma.
I forgive you, John. I've come to the realization that a child is a gift from God. And that a child should not be blamed based on the circumstance of his or her birth. And having a child at a tender age does not mean that your dreams or your life is over. I mean, take a good look at my mom. She was, you know, an example of our circumstance. But look at her now. She's a banker. She's doing fine for herself. I mean, look at me. I came out right. So, John, we have to do everything in our power to give the best life that we can to the child. And I also pray that, by God's grace, I should be able to gain admission into the university by next year. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Mommy. Thank you for being such a great support system. I love you. I love you too. Come on. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Mom. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you so much. <laughs> In the depths of my heart, I feel the ache. A loved one so strong, now turn no mistake. Abandoned and alone, in darkness I reside. Yearning for the love that wants to by my side. In the silence of the night, I search for solace. Memories of your touch, they still hunt and caress. But I won't let the past define who I am, I must find strength to move on and rebuild what I can. All the pain of abandonment, it comes so deep, it hurts so deep. Threatening to take away my happiness, but my happiness I won't forfeit. I must believe that love. Find me again, find me again I'll try and pick up the pieces one by one Rebuilding my heart until the pain is gone I'll find my worth and embrace my own strength